This is a video about my first FPV aircraft, a Skywalker 2014-1880. It was my first plane. I used it to learn how to build planes, how to fly planes. This plane has crashed a lot, uh, and I even folded it in three once. But I learned a fair bit from that, and I used that knowledge to build another airplane, which I've flown quite a bit, and now I'm in the process of building a Skywalker EVE 2000. If you'd like to see those videos, the link will be in the description below. This plane uh, has a number of mods. I'll just quickly go over the plane and how I built it and what's different about this from the stock. So you'll notice right off the top, uh, there's some eighth inch plywood that I've cut into the top. Uh, this is meant to take a nylon bolt that'll run through, don't look in here, she's real messy. Uh, it runs through to these plywood brackets and there's holes drilled in there and on the bottom I've glued nylon nuts. So that holds the wing down. I don't have to use elastics anymore because I had a few scary times with elastics. Uh, this has gone through a number of modifications, this wing. The way it's set up right now, uh, you'll notice I cut flaps into it. So that really helps a lot when you want to carry extra weight, fly a little slower, or land and take off. So on the under underside of the wing, we got the video transmitter. At one point, I had it mounted out here in this pocket found it better to mount the antenna directly to the transmitter. So I do that now. It's just held in there with some Velcro and there's a little styrofoam cap to protect it. Uh, on this end, so this connection is for the 915 megahertz data radio. That goes out here. I built that myself out of some ID card plastic and some, it's just a straight dipole, very, very easy. And then lastly, out here on this Velcro with the extra connection, can mount another board camera, uh, that one, has a little pod I built out of styrofoam and I use that when I'm going to loiter and I want to point the wingtip at a target so I set the radius and the altitude and it just loiters around the target. Finally there's three holes drilled through the wing. Uh, I use those to hold this bad boy which is a two axis stabilized HD 18 time zoom camera. Uh, I can point it down the wing or forward and uh, I've just been playing with that. It's very heavy and everything has to be working well for that to go. On to the rest of the plane, you'll notice many, many battle scars on this plane. Uh, I'll put a couple of pictures in about how badly I folded this plane in half or in three, depending on the crash. Uh, that's why there's this little piece of styrofoam here. That's just to keep this angled correctly for the right latch. So on the front, we have board cam uh, on a one-turn sail winch servo GWS. You see those all over now. And then a little piece of Velcro to hold a Mobius. So I fly with the board cam, Mobius isn't actually connected to anything. You have airspeed sensor. Uh, when I mounted this out front like this, uh, turns out that's a really bad idea. So great for measuring airflow, terrible for when you are learning to fly. I left it here though, because this now is just held on by tape. The tape's kind of let go, it's been sitting on the floor for a bit. So you tape that on and then if you crash, this just folds off and you don't actually tear the guts out of your plane, which is nice. Uh, we'll go to the inside when we finish. So on top, many, many, many wires. All of these plug into the window. I color-coded uh, some of the connections with colored electrical tape. So I got red, yellow, green, and black. Uh, there's also white on there as well. Lots of connections. That's what happens when you put everything in the wing. Uh, these plywood tabs here are what I bolt the wing to. Uh, I'm running Skywalker 28 something, 850 kV, spinning a 12.6 prop. Uh, it's good. It draws a fair bit of current. Uh, it's a good little motor. Uh, one of my terrible, terrible accidents uh, resulted in me breaking this carbon spar right here. So to fix it, I had to put a wooden dowel in there, which means I had to put all the wire on the outside. So it looks terrible, but it's just as strong as it ever was. So all the wires run on the outside down here to the tail. Uh, I've mounted another video camera connection. So it's just standard three lead servo. And here I'm running a run cam owl. Um, it's on Velcro so I can move it. I just also tape it for security. The, that's a good camera by the way, good for kind of dusk, low light stuff. That camera lets me see what's happening on the wings of the plane looking forward. So if you looked forward at the plane, you would get to see all of that. So that's actually quite useful. So you can tell what's happening. Very good video of the prop flying off on one of my flights. Uh, 
modifications I did to the tail. So I set it up so that the tail is just one piece. This is all glued together and does not come apart. I added a second servo to hold to do elevator. So there's one on this side. There's also one on that side. So elevator failure is not recoverable. If your elevator fails in the wrong position, like your plane is just going into the ground. So having to, it's just a YA cable connection and they're hooked up in different directions. So now if one servo fails, the other servo will just push it, which is great. Uh, and then the tail dragging link dipole, just poking out the top there and then the little wire dangling out the back. Uh, I added some strobes to this. So this is a two watt LED and I've got it run through an Arduino to strobe it. So if you want to see how that works, there's going to be a video about that. And that's pretty much the outside of the plane. I'll now show you the inside. Everyone's favorite, a giant's rat's nest. Uh, this just happens to be part of the experimental aircraft procedure. So I'm running APM in the top. So I, I think it's 2.6, which lets me add mission planner and get all the telemetry on the ground. And that's really good for an experimental aircraft. Very easy to manage. Uh, you have here a three-way video switch so I can get between the nose camera, the wing camera, and the tail camera. I'm also flying this with minimum OSD. Uh, so things I learned. Putting all the stuff in the wings means you have a million connections to make when you get to the field. So I learned from this experience when I built my second plane and I did my own little hubs that I just that plug in when the wings plug in. So that was really worth learning and makes assembling my next plane way, way, way easier. Uh, other thing you get out of this, uh, that's for the data radio. The other thing you get out of this is ground looping is hard to avoid when you're doing that much wiring. And I've learned a bunch of stuff. I didn't learn as much as I should have. So I have to rewire my other plane and I'm going to make And these EPO planes are fantastic because you can essentially just glue them back together after you crash. So you can see like there's a hot glue seam. So this plane was actually in three bits. So that was a bit, this thing was a bit. You can see the seam that runs through here and the seam that runs through here. So that turned, that broke off into its own chunk. And then the tail thing broke off into its own chunk. So I just hot glued this back together. I think this plane has been completely apart 12 times now. And what I have here, uh, it looks terrible. I'll, admit to the looking terrible part, but I mean, you have a plane and it flies and it can take a beating. So that was my first FVD plane. I used everything I learned from this plane to build my next planes. And uh, I hope you liked the video. If you want to see the other build videos, just look in the description below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.